school, schools should be the place where hope is restored. Every school is the center of the community. If the learners, they get educated in terms of academics, and then they are able to rub that off to their parents. And, you know, having a, a, a community that is educated, that is the, the first step. Eh, wow, that's what I can tell you. So the parents, when they come in here, one, they, they feel very important to the fact that they can easily come into such a beautiful school and be listened to and be accommodated. So when they get here and they are being told that yes, your child can come into the school and as they walk out, you will see the pride in them like, yo, anaka, and then that's the very same interaction that they give to their own children. You are in that school, you better behave. Otherwise, I don't want to be called, you know, so they, they are loving the building. They are just, wow. Yes, the school is really benefiting for the community because it ever you can see some of the family they have got uh, they got a job here, and firstly they have been struggling without uh, a job, and secondly it even uh, create more opportunities for for our kids to come and learn easily closer to their area. More than 80% of learners that we have admitted are from NOFI schools. The results analysis that we have presented indicate a rise in terms of, you know, the standard that we have studied and that we have created ourselves. So we are happy to announce that from where they are coming from, um, you hear when you start interviewing the little ones, you know, how they speak the language, how they are confident and being able to adapt into a new system altogether. I want to be a doctor and have my own uh, hospital. Because when somebody in my family or, or somewhere, my neighbors, when they get hurt, I can help them. It's my first time to learn in a school that has an upstairs and it's nice. Coming to this school was a great thing because I got to see new things. Another person may come in this school, it will be a great thing too for him or her, because this school is nice. So is the teachers. I would like Platinum Village to be the host for all other schools around. Um, um, I mean academic host. I want the teachers, when they want to teach them something scientifically, they come and do the experiments here at Platinum Village. I want when they want to teach their children um, athletics, I want them to come and get the host from here. I want whoever comes here and be the teacher, be the, the main person that will be able to share the ideas with the outside environment and then bring them here and then have this as the uh, museum for education, have this as a museum for sports and recreation. Remember a school is made up of teachers, learners, uh, parents and other stakeholders. Other stakeholders in this regard we are referring to Impala. Uh, Impala is our partner and I think you know they are very willing to make sure that they want to assist us because from time to time we've got their visit. Uh, they also send educators to really come and assist uh, in terms of doing their work. You know first time I saw the school I you know, I say, wow, because for having had the uh, Impala, Platinum, and uh, the Bafokin Trust and the department, you know, have ballooned uh, the, 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 the amount of the region of 120M. I say, wow, this is going to be, you know, a market school, high class. Platinum Village Secondary School is state of the art, because when it comes to the infrastructure itself, we have everything. We have laboratories. We have the, the art center, we are having enough ablution system, we are having a beautiful admin with a lift, no hal. I mean, you don't get such in any school in the country. We want to create a, a, our own culture. Uh, that would also say, how do we then begin to make sure that those schools that are similar to us, in character, in grading, we compete with them, you know? Um, and, and ensuring that you know uh, the, the marginalized uh, communities 
are able to rise uh, and 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 be part of the mainstream you know competition and global education since this is built around the mines and we know that people in the mines they actually think okay this is the mine and this is where we end but what about our children so this school has a very great um, responsibility it needs to uh, grow the children so that they grow, go out there make this community a better place and a school in general has a greater um, responsibility to make sure that the community is restored our anticipation the people that we want we want people who are punctual people who are disciplined uh, people who got morals people who could be uh, be involved in global economic global and national global they could be involved in that so these are the people that you are looking for as much as we are in the platinum village in here uh, in the mines these are the learners who the mines must come in and fetch in as they're investing in us we must be able to plow back to them you know the relationship is superb because you know firstly uh, some of us the parents yeah it's for the first time we've been part of the sgb you know with no experience but to have a principal of this caliber you know from two of you as a principal and as a caretaker here you could able to take us in confidence in everything that is happening the running of the school and we as the parents, we know that we have been inducted. We make sure we organize the workshop for us as parents. This is our school. We actually run in this school. The school maintains the buildings. We have to make sure every decision that has been taken, we as parents, we make sure we are part of it. So here, we are united as the parents, with the principal, with the management. So the working conditions are very good. So now we promise that, you know, having that, we don't actually have an excuse because we are not teaching children under the trees. We have everything at our disposal. We have human resource from the department and we have the maximum furniture, if I can say. So the only thing that we need to do as a school is just to deliver. We also do not want to divorce from Impala. Impala must we just have to be under their wing until I don't know when. <laughs>